Hashtag how to run for poll march. Lecture 2, February 2nd. The Grecian Linguistic Diaspora. We'd overheard an online tutorial to which a younger was listening of a game which had just come out, and as he understood we asked honestly, what language is he speaking? Responding that he was speaking English we realized the vast multitudes of categories within the English language. Well, it is just as diverse in the Greek where we designate the category for taxonomic purposes may begin with order move to class and end in kingdom designated by three letters in this case Greek saying more so who we are than what we do. It couldn't be an arbitrary selection of letters as those who stand the test of time usually don't, but why, oh, why name us Kappa Alpha Psi? Can we theorize about the meaning of to what may as well be Greek to everyone else without the knowledge we are learning here, today? It was their collective conscious effort on the 5th of January, in the year of our Lord 1911. Beginning is new and changing to Psi, we conclude clear and obvious proofs explaining reasoning behind the Kappa and the Alpha instead of Lambda Alpha or any other of the billions of three-letter Greek configurations possible. It seems to us that the founders had a most enlightened understanding of individuals being captains of their fate through a combination of collective association and individual achievement found in Kappa Alpha Psi. K, Kappa, the tenth letter of the Greek alphabet alludes to the ten founders of our Greek letter organization. We categorize ourselves taxonomically beginning with order where ours is that of Kappa or K, the eleventh letter of the English alphabet marking the eleventh year of the twentieth century on the fifth of January 1911. But what can we say about the eleventh that we shouldn't consider of the tenth, when prior research and preparation for the opportune point in time is under the tenth astrological sign in the zodiac, Capricorn, the horn CGOAT, greatest of all time, came about. Saturn the planet is said to rule Capricorn, or should we say Capricorn who is seen as a god of intelligence in Babylonian mythology, but you can take what you want out of with that what you will of that. The zodiac symbol for Capricorn looks so much like either the V for new or the N for new and a P for pi that it is ridiculous as we find our research and thirst for knowledge reminds us that we can't think that because previous generations didn't have as much advancement as we have today, they were somehow inferior, when it is just not the case. Can we say the ancient Greeks were any less in tune with the latest technology and innovation of their time? I should think not as our order is of or relating to Kappa, our ten founders and the English letter K as being the eleventh year of their then new millennium. What can we say of the second category of distinction for taxonomy in class as those of the clan we call noble and bold claim of the first to organize ten on January 5, 1911 to sign legally binding documents of association? Sure, there were other organizations formed with ten members in 1911, but not on the campus of Indiana University. In keeping a realistic scope promoting the aims and purposes of colleges and universities we were the Alpha of Kappa and New or New of 1911 taking the name Kappa Alpha New at the university. See Elder Watson had a dream, but looking at something conceived in the mind and only explained by the simple limited vocabulary abstract concepts demand, is hard without charisma. So, imagine founding a new republic within a republic to better serve the needs of those under the Polar March's jurisdiction. Uniting college men in a bond of culture, patriotism, and honor, the greater community grows of those in the community which require greater attention. The first to consider after the Lord, our families, and the government is the Pole March as he stands as the Alpha of any chapter and without malice suggests as much as he may to benefit all parties involved. Every body of people have at least one with an Alpha mentality, and the Pole March is ours referring to those of Kappa. Polemarchus was the first to agree and support the philosophical argument that justice was not meant to harm anyone friends or enemies. He conceded on the definition of justice, but though we think he ought to be just, we expect him to revert to helping friends and harming enemies, when it benefits us, because we think, believe, and know we are on a superior straight path and thus, ethically good and morally right. Lastly, for taxonomic purposes we consider kingdom where just as our last names define biology, this would define their intellectual lineage, because all they did was create and stand behind a program for achievement. As explained earlier the astrological sign Capricorn is the tenth of twelve zodiac signs that looks more like an N with a small curved like P to the bottom right of the symbol, the founders added the capital Greek letter Nu. The racial overtones associated with Kappa Alpha Nu or Gon would lead some of less ethnic backgrounds to refer to us as Kappa Alpha Ninjas. Abandoning the Greek Nu for a more distinct Greek letter, we chose the letter Psi for Indiana University's logo. Theoretically, the Psi is a symbol of the trident of Poseidon who was the god of the sea, one of the twelve Olympians and the Roman equivalent of Neptune whose mythical father was Kronos, Saturn, the leader of the Titans first generation and the controller of the astrological Capricorn. Keeping with astrology and the Capricorn zodiac sign we explain what type of phi or philosophy in a new and pi for the zodiac sign or nu. Originally using a lowercase nu or v for almost 100 years, we now proclaim Kappa Alpha Psi Phi Nu Pi, if anyone was wondering why. Order, class, and kingdom are the basic taxonomic categories of our Greek letter organization in who we are and of what we represent. They were ten men, Kappa, of the first class, Alpha, during Capricorn season whose zodiac sign highly resembles a lowercase n. Poseidon's name translated means lord or husband which is another good reason the men of our fraternity chose to use the Psi or Poseidon's trident which so closely resembles the I and U in Indiana University's logo. In practice ten young men applied theory considering a brighter tomorrow provided under the auspices of care provided by our local poll march.